What's up everyone, Armitage here, and today I wanna to go over some strategies on how to win a tournament structure contest. In this first video, I will talk about how to build an optimal roster, and in the next segment, I will go over a strategy on entering multiple rosters to win a tournament. So let's get started. The first thing we wanna do is open Alpha Draft. And today we're gonna to be taking a look at the EU LCS day one, I believe it's week eight, and we're just using this as an example the strategy you can apply pretty much to any tournament structure. So let's take a look. Um, let's see. Let's do this tower dive here. And when building a roster, I think one of the most important things is emphasizing a team. And we're going we're gonna to get into that a little bit more. But the first thing I do when I open a tournament structure is I look at the teams that are playing. And I figure out which teams I think that are going to win. For example, so I, I think Elements is going to beat Copenhagen Wolves. I think that Origin will probably be Gamma Gaming, and considering how good Fnatic is this year, uh, I think Fnatic will destroy Rocket. But we're gonna we're gonna take. I also think um, we're gonna take a look at H2K here. I think that they're also gonna win, and I think that's what I'm gonna be using to emphasize a team. Now, when I say emphasize a team, I usually mean to take four of their members. Um, sometimes it can be right to take three of their members if they're expensive. So if you're emphasizing, let's say, Fnatic in this situation, who's super expensive you can probably only afford three of them. That's still a team that emphasizes Fnatic though. And that's the key. When you're, when you're building a roster, you want to emphasize a specific team that you think is gonna win. With this in mind, the other slots can be filled with another team or two other teams, etc. The important thing to remember is that you are building this roster with H2K in mind and then filling in the rest with who you think will win or score well. All right, so the next step is deciding who we wanna take from H2K. So the first thing I normally do is type out their names H2K, and I will add everyone to the roster. And you can basically go over and look at their stats, average kills, average deaths, and stuff like that. But I kind of want to dig a little bit deeper, and you should too. So we're going to open a new tab, and we're going to open eSports. And I use this website for pretty much all stats. And the great thing about NA in Europe is they have a fantasy stat. And we're going to go to H2K. And this will give you, for the split, every, everyone's kills, deaths, assists, etc. And the important things you want to look at is probably their net stats, but you need to remember that usually supports are the least, and if they're more than someone else, then you definitely don't want to take that someone else. So in this case, Lulex is lower than Kasing. So if we're going to emphasize H2K, we want to take Odawamne, Ryu, Hyarnan, and Kasing, and we want to not take Lulex at all costs. This isn't the only condition you want to base your roster on, though. You also want to use knowledge of who carries a team and what type of role they play. Let's take a look at Origin. While Xpeke is barely being amazing, I personally know that Xpeke doesn't score highly and has lower kill participation than average, thus I wouldn't want to build a roster with him. With this in mind, let's continue with our H2K roster. So we know we want to try to drop Lulex, but who do we fill our team with? Uh, let's take a look. So if we think Fnatic's going to win, Origin's going to win, Unicorns of Love, and Elements. And out of all of those teams, I think the only team we can actually afford is Elements. So let's build around them. So let's drop Lulex and drop H2K's team. And we want to try to take Dexter, probably take Frog or Tabs, and try to take their team. So, okay, we're clearly over by 400. Now, we could take a different flex, but this brings up a really important point. Let me check how much our support is. Yeah, we could take Nymph here, but your flex spot, you usually always want to take an ADC or mid. Uh, it's not 100%. Sometimes a top or even jungle can carry. For example, Odawamne has good games to where he will score higher than Yarnan or Ryu. But typically, you always want to take a mid or ADC as your flex if you can. In this case, um, let's see. Can we take JWoww as their top? Um, we're over by 200. Can we drop the team? Yeah, we can. So this team's actually looking pretty good. Um, obviously, I would like to take Froggen or Tabs here, but if I can't, then we'll stick with this. We are constricted with salary. Uh, I think this team is pretty optimized. We could drop Dexter and take Lulex, but we'd have to drop Kasing, and I really don't want to do that. So I think this is a roster I would submit. Be sure to check out my next video on how to create multiple rosters effectively because you can't get the most value out of a tournament with just one roster.